Here we are again. Here we are again, guys. Episode <laughs> number two. Um, episode number two. What are we doing? Uh, uh, the episode. This is really exciting. Oh, we we're playing going, the joinery. Yes. So we're, mm -hmm. we're going to uh, uh, a, a Don't place. Tell too we're not telling too much. But we're going somewhere to design and mm -hmm. pick out how this, how the back's going to look. Um, I'm also going to fit actuators to lift this pop top by itself. Have I done it before? No. no. Do I know what actuators were before <laughs> buying them? No. Do you so, know if they're the right ones? No. But all of that is going to happen. <laughs> we're going to see a few suppliers. So mm -hmm. now things are starting to move. This so is exciting. This is a good one. Uh, yeah, it's really good. So pretty much what they're doing, um, they're going to set up this camera, which I had no idea they had. Um, it'll do a 3D model of the entire inside of the truck. So it'll take, it'll it'll measure everything, get all the angles, and then that goes into a computer, and then we can build and design everything around that. So that is like absolute wizardry compared to um, your sketch on paper. My sketch on paper, <laughs> which. Is completely at like doesn't yeah it makes sense to me but I'm just glad that now we can uh, yeah use a bloody computer to do it all. The thing is that this is the yeah so this is it. Oh my god! So this thing is a 3D scanner or 3D camera. So it basically we'll set it up in there. It like rotates so it spins around like that. Yeah. And it takes like a thousand scans a minute or whatever. And um, it'll basically map the whole inside of the interior down to like. Probably like a millimetre. Wow. Yeah. So we're really going to see if they've, if they've built it to how, like, yep. eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, no we'll... pressure, Oscar. Okay, now we're going to see if everything's, like, right. <laughs> Bit of a backstory, Adrian, um, who we met, well, who you just met back then, uh, who uh, absolute legend, who runs After Dark Design. I worked for him as a carpenter many, many moons ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we we're doing um, shop fit outs, um, restaurant fit outs, nightclub and pub fit outs. He's a very versatile man. I'll put up a few photos now <laughs> of me just doing an absolute great job. So as you can see, I did a great job. Um, He's now morphed into that, which is just incredible. So what Adrian is amazing and After Dark is really good at is just sort of coming up with just amazing concepts and designs. Nothing is impossible. Like sometimes you get to some people that go, oh no, you can't do that. They will find a way to do absolutely anything. And that's what's got me excited. I didn't know he had that, that scanning thing. I think, I think what we're most excited about is um we're on the same page. He loves thinking outside the square. He loves doing very unique things. Um, and it's just cool to be working with someone that's got that type of skill set that can kind of take this build to the next level. Um, the fact that we started out, we're gonna throw it up now. Carsten is, I thought he was a really good um, hand I'm drawer. I'm a good drawer, check this out. You ready, three, two, one, boom. I thought he was really good. Apparently that's not. Good. Apparently not. When we got there, one of the guys that works at After Dark he had, laughed. He laughed and he was like, and he was like, oh, and, uh, is that what is that? <laughs> you draw that with your mouth, mate. I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, um, what's really cool is the device that they put inside um, the Oka to make sure that everything was just drawn up. What is it to the well, millimeter? Everything goes from that thing up into the cloud right now, and then something puts it together into a 3D sketch yeah. and then from that we can now start planning all the um, 
or the fit out really. So we've picked the material, we've gone with a Polytech uh, yeah. timber sort of material. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. Oh yeah, so the best thing about it is, visually we'll obviously get the drawing on the inside and then we'll be able to yeah. pick all the materials. And, and we can we... show you guys how it's going to look. Well, before, before, all I could do is explain it. But yeah. now we can show you. Um, so as you can tell, we're really pumped, we're excited. Energy is at an all time high. Um, yeah, excited to be working with After Dark. This is just the beginning, um, but this build series, we've had so many people who have just reached out to us and just said, they can't wait to watch it unfold because this is a one of a kind. Oh, poor little ZZ's crying in the back. Might have to wrap um, it up there. Good thing, this is why we have the spare seat. Over you go, I'm, Mum. I'm gonna go. I'll pull over and you can... Realities of uh, okay. driving. Boo -boo. You, you've been a big good girl, Jerry. Then we're gonna get, we're gonna give uh, ZZ some boo boo. Oh, yeah. milk truck. Oh, there we go. That'll sort her out. That'll sort her out. Your booby beers. <laughs> so give me a rundown of what's just happened. Well, we just. The actuators have arrived. Yeah. So these. I'll show you what an actuator is for those of you that don't know. Um. That's an actuator. So really there's a motor in here um, that pushes this shiny piece out. Um, the idea is these are what are going to lift our pop top because we're going to have a bit of weight up there. Um, and it's quite difficult at the moment to lift and lower. Um, these will do all the work. Now, the idea was to mount these on the outside of the truck if they were a certain length. Silly me didn't measure the overall length. So overall length, I didn't take into account the, the motor that's built into this bullet style actuator. I just thought, oh, 900, perfect, that's all gonna work. But it's not 900, it's like 1400. So it's not gonna work on the outside. And what I'm worried about, if you have actuators on the outside, they get rain, dust, branches might if one gets knocked well then that screws everything so now i've got to try and find out a way that i can mount these on the inside to do the same job but without it affecting the design that has currently been designed because we're moving those seats forward 150 mil the plan is to put these tight yep. to the back of the seat so then that way these will be lifting up from, from behind the seat. So it'll be a meter forward from the front, which isn't a big deal, it'll still lift. And these ones will be at the back itself. So. Yeah, because what you were saying is the biggest thing is that obviously the weight is distributed equally. They don't actually have to be in even spots. As long as the stroke and it's going up and you have kind of got four in there, the air con's the main weight on the roof. Yep. So I think having these slightly back from the front are probably Ooh. going to assist with that center weight mm -hmm. anyway. Just got hung up on the door. Okay, since we last spoke, um, I think we we're talking about where the actuators were going to go. Now it's confirmed two are going on the back on the outside and two are going on the front on the inside. Now I've been making up these brackets today, welded those, they're all painted, and drilling into that aluminium extrusion, I don't know what the word is, um, around the top. So you'll see out here, I've got one fitted just temporarily, it's not glued or anything, but you'll see. Up here, that's one there. So, one there, and then there'll be another one. There'll be another one up there in that corner. Now, the next project is to do the bottom mount. Now that can vault, these, this here is quite thick steel, and that is all uh, like welded the whole way and um, super strong. So I've made a bracket which is going to fit into these three holes, um, and then it will be kind of a, I guess a, a hinge or a, anyway you'll see in a sec all right um so those brackets are on you'll see i've got one there i've still got to tidy up the welds and stuff but they're painted at, at the moment but you'll see they're all attached top and bottom um we actually haven't tested it yet but the problem is i can't test the whole thing if it goes the whole way up because i've only done the back ones so we'll see if it goes up 100 mil and then we can drop it down um, i'm pretty sure Negative the negative. I'm pretty sure. Woo! Woohoo! I did it. 
That's pimp. That's so good. Look you did that. it, babe. Look at that. Like that. That's gonna work a treat. That is like spot on. Are you so stoked right now? Well, yeah, because number one, I've never done it before. And it's just like, I had to try and nut out to make these actuators work. Cause I bought them thinking they were shorter, yeah. but they actually turned out way longer. Didn't look at the retracted length. And it turned out that the length was spot on. Um, being able to utilize that void there and make my own brackets. It's kind of like it was meant to be like they that. They actually look very pimp. Don't they? <laughs> and once they're sprayed black, they're gonna look like roll bars. I don't know if we need to spray them black. Max, gotta go matchy matchy. All right, guys, it has been a hectic week. Um, we are now houseless. Uh, the house is exchanged. We got the money. Now we can start spending some dosh on this, on, on our house on wheels, really. Next thing on the list is sound deadening. Sound deadening and um, insulation. So uh, obviously this has just come as a tin box and there was no sound deadening in it. So, but it wasn't too bad the way it was. But once you've, once you've had a car that's sound deadened, you will notice the difference straight away. So in the combi, we used this sound stuff here. Sound deadener from car builders. Now this stuff here, it's just so easy. You peel the back off, um, slap it on, um, and then there's a little roller, and you just roll, roll the panel on. So you'll you'll hear the difference, and I think this is the best bit. This will give you a bit of an idea on the difference of the sound. So if you hear this, and then hear this, probably more. And that's exactly why we're putting it in there because let's be honest, this is gonna be on some pretty hectic roads. And um, yeah, to reduce the sound in here for the kids is a major. All right, insulation. So, very important as we all know. This stuff here is car builders. So car builders do a, um, what's called van liner. So you can see here, it's got a foiled face. It's sort of got like a, a closed bubble cell foamy stuff in there and an adhesive back, which sticks actually really well. Um, so that, that's just kind of like a second stage. So first stage, stage one is the car, is the sound deadener as we just did before. Van liner next, which is this stuff, goes over the top. And then for us, we're gonna then do a, a automotive carpet, which is also from car builders. They've got the whole lot, which I've never done before. So that's going to either work really well or it's gonna look horrendous. So I'm gonna tip that it's gonna look good because I won't let it look horrendous. Stoked. It's nice to see some like finishing touches go in because um, there's been so much construction and things that you won't see but look they have turned out spot on i am over the bloody moon with that um quite easy to install that glue is next level strong the plan is to velcro things to the back of this so it's important that you know it doesn't peel off so Corner, corner, right, the other way I've got to go now. You've got the ability to kind of really massage it to, to stretch it out, which is good. I can't see because of that bloody sun. <laughs> I've got my sunglasses on. Um, Little tips, I guess, cut it to size. Make sure you cut it to size before putting it in. Um, you know, rather than just putting in a big piece and trying to cut it with a Stanley knife, um, you just get a, if you can get everything perfect and use a straight edge to cut it, like I was doing over there, you'll get nice clean cuts and then you can get it in. You, there is quite a bit of stretch and obviously the, the further back you stretch it, the more stretch you get. If you stretch in close, you don't get much stretch. The next big job on the list to uh, cross off is getting our beds made and installed. So about a week ago, we had Tristan from TKF come out. We've made designs, we've done the CAD drawings, and he's been flat out fabricating these bad boys.
So you see there, they're pretty much done. Uh, they've gone into powder coating, they've come out, just got the call. We're about to head over there to Tristan's workshop and we're gonna get these things fitted. Today we're seeing your bed. Woohoo! You excited? Yeah. Wow, that looks so sick. But wait, wait until you see underneath. Wait until you see. <laughs> see. You'll get this rivet in and then you'll have a look. Ready, Max? Look under here. Look underneath. This is what hot it feels like when it's up. Hell yeah! Look at that, that is pink. Wow, that is. That is, how good's that gonna be? You have nailed that. But look at look, it's that sort of looks it, unbelievable. It nearly looks like that like the house. It you does. know, with the exposed joists and the decorative in between. I'm so glad that I came out the other day and had a look to like see the process yeah, of how it's all come together. But now check it out, yeah. eh? It's pimp. It pays I, to pay. It pays to pay, everybody. It pays to pay. It pays to pay. <laughs> if this was my attempt, it would have looked like balls. I never thought I would get so excited about a bed frame. <laughs> <laughs> Your bed is dude. <gasps> Not the cardboard, this bitch. She doesn't know. She's like, is that a bed? Look, that's your bed there. That does not look like a oh, bed. Oh, it doesn't look like a bed here. <laughs> it'll, look, it'll look like a bed when we're done, okay? So beds are in, look at this. One, two. So these lift up. <clears throat> Sorry, grinder's going off, but um, what we're making now is we're doing the stops. So we've got to weld stops to the sides here and over here, which then allows the bed to come down and rest on something secure. Um, so there'll be two here and up the back. It pretty much sits perfect on that bit of steel that I welded in a while back. Um, there will be a little bit of modification there. Um, and then we've got to do the same thing as here over here. So that's the next step. Um, and then you'll see here, look at this. That's Zuri's little, uh, little don't fall out of bed rail. So anyway, um, we are so very close to getting this done. There you go, lay down. Have a lay. <laughs> Let's see how long you are. Is it going to be big enough? Oh, we've got heaps of room, haven't we? You want to see something cool? Yeah. So you don't fall out. Is that a good idea? We'll pretty it up for you though. Is that good? I'll put a bit of nice timber on there, hey? A bit of black butt timber? No. So, uh, do you want a nice piece of wood <laughs> on there? No. What do you want? I just want to say it like that. Yeah, I think we can tidy it up a little bit. This is that's to put the wood on, so it looks all nice and fancy. Nah. Cool, huh? Daddy, I want to stay on here. But what about when the roof comes down? Nah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Max. Yeah. Come and check it. Hey, Max. Hi. Oh, what are you doing up it's there? Actually, it's actually very nice. Get up. Right, hold that, point oh. it at mum. Wow. Come here, you. I'm yeah. actually ready for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> mum, don't have a nap on there. Ready? Wait, mum. I have to oh get mum. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my We got her. We got her. We got her up. Oh, my God. How's that? It's a bit, obviously a bit flimsy. You can feel it under that, but that's because we're, feels nice, we're yeah. gonna get the we're gonna get the mattress yeah. on. Get the mattress on it, to spread itself out. Crazy! I can actually visualize it now with the canvas and the canvas everything. and looking out at the the that's stuff, that's whatever well it be. That's Stoke well that. Done. Yes. Can I sleep in this tonight? Well, look, we haven't got any canvas and we haven't got a mattress yet. When, can, but what's well, when the canvas goes on, we'll order the mattress this week. But what's a canvas? A canvas is what goes around the outside and so stops the bugs from getting it from the wind. Are we getting like a steel um, a five. ladder?